I'm excited to share with you a little bit about the best mindset that one can have before they begin their ketamine infusions. Hey, it's Dr. Ko here from Reset Ketamine. Thank you so much for joining me. So number one is a deep desire to change. I can think of a few patients who were coming not because they wanted to necessarily, but because their dad or their husband or their wife or their uh, partner wanted them to come to get ketamine infusions. And what I noticed in those patients is they really didn't get a lot of benefits because they did not have a personal motivation to change. And it was really not coming from a self-initiated action for the ketamine infusions. Conversely, I've seen it where patients are very motivated and they have the desire to change. So they'll come in, they'll do all of the paperwork, they'll get all of those records, they'll prepare adequately, they'll have the ketamine infusions, and then they'll really get into the integration where they're doing therapy or they're journaling or they're making these lifestyle changes. And what I noticed is that those patients seem to get the greatest benefit from the ketamine infusions. The second factor is a belief that one can change and heal. Sometimes we get stuck and a great author, her name is Carol Dweck, she talks about something called a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. Those who have a fixed mindset think, you know what, I probably can't change who I am is who I am and there's nothing that's gonna make me different. Whereas those with a growth mindset believe that they can change and they have this ability to transform themselves and their lives. If a person has that growth mindset where they know that they can change, but they need an extra bit of support, those are the patients who seem to get the greatest benefits from the ketamine infusions. And number three is openness. There's something called the big five. Um, you can use the mnemonic OCEAN, where it stands for openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. And the first one is really important, that openness. And by openness, I'm referring to kind of an open mind that one can have before they get their ketamine treatments, where they're open to novel experiences, where they're open to different experiences, and they're actually looking forward to that versus more of a closed mindset where they're not really willing to change. So those are the three factors that seem to play a role in whether someone will respond to ketamine treatments and also kind of that mindset that one wants to have before they begin their treatments. So thanks again for joining me. Please hit the subscribe and like button and I will see you on the next video.